Hello, Chez here. Just a quick little video. Uh, someone asked me how his uh, site to work with Hydrox. So, just a quick little demonstration while I was out in the field and uh, see how we go. Right, what we got here is a um, three switches front trailer, middle trailer, back trailer. So, we only got two trailers, so that's front trailer and back trailer. The other thing we've got here is a PDA lever and lift and lower if you in a normal trailer. Put your clutch in. That engages the pump. And we're gonna open the back trailer. So I've got it so to open because it goes outwards. Click it that way. Just going down the window. Yes, my truck's a mess. So then all we have got to do is engage, put that lever further back to engage the pump. And if I want to stop, leave it forwards or put the clutch in. So remove it back. See the back doors opening. I already rolled the tarps, so that's all right. Rolled them earlier. Just start tipping up till she starts to run out and start to get a nice little pile. I don't usually build them too big, but okay. I'll put the lever back in the middle. I want to go going low. Move the lever back and slowly moving forwards. Lever back in the middle so it's not tilting. Engage the pump again. mirrors okay so with that lever's back in the middle so she's in neutral put that lever switch across so that's going to close the door engage the pump like so now we can see the trailer starting to tilt up and while I do this I usually put it in reverse the reason why I tip out the back trailer first is so I can keep the power on the drive or the weight on the drive the quickest way to get bogged in this situation is to take all your weight off the prime mover and have a dead weight on your last trailer and you've got nothing to drag it down. I got the doors shut. Catch it. Okay. Dolly's doing something really weird. I didn't catch it in time. First thing the dolly. Okay. Isolate the middle one.
hands up. Thumbs up hard or turn the PDO off. That's off. Then to disengage, or I can flick that down by itself and leave that in neutral. Or I just normally push the whole thing down so it takes the weight off the hydraulics. I didn't explain myself too well on the day. Um, the hydraulics run on a circuit, so there's a pressure line and a return line on side tippers uh, and walking floors. We'll just stick with the side tippers. On a normal grain tipper, which you or a dirt tipper, which tips up the, at the end of the uh, trailer or the truck, you only need one line, and that's to pressurise the system to lift. Gravity will bring it back down. With the grain tipper uh, hose on a single uh, for oil, it goes back and forth in the same line. Uh, pump's turned on to put tipper up, the pump turns off and dumps the oil back past the pump and you're lowering. So with the side tippers where we have a circuit or a loop, um, and we also got these three little toggles which operate on air which controls the valve to run either way so when I was saying to open uh, I flick the switch towards I suppose the driver door to open and tilt we'll flick the uh, activate the valve the door and tilt works in one action it's just set up so the door will open first then the secondary stage will tilt the tray, I suppose you can call it, and to close or lower, I hit the switch and point it towards the uh, passionate door, and it'll, the pressure is still running in the same direction, but the valve is turned around, and that will lower the tray and to close the door. I hope that all made some sense for you. Um, if not, let me know and I'll try again. Alright, can everyone please be safe on the roads? Thank you for watching. Uh, I do have some changes coming up on, on my YouTube, so stick around. Uh, let me know what you think. Uh, we'll have sponsors uh, coming up, or one to put a sponsor in the near future. I hope you'll jump on board and I will catch you on the flip side.